Hello and thanks for joining me. Today we're going to add some intelligence to our factory asset libraries using Autodesk Factory Design Suite. The intelligence I'm going to add to, these, to this model today is basically I'm going to add in some clearance zones for the CNC machine. This is going to help me look for clash detections or interferences when working in my factory models or however else I'm using the factory design suite of products. So as you can see, I have some, I modeled in here some basically clearance zones for the door opening for the CNC machine. The next step is I want to work with parameters. I want to create a simple parameter that's going to basically turn on and, turn on and off or suppress my door opening. So I'm going to go ahead and add a, custom, a user parameter. I'm going to give it a parameter name. So I'll just call it clearance zone. I'm going to also make it a multi-value parameter. It's actually going to be 1 and 1 and 0. I'm going to take the 1 inch out of there. And I'm going to make this a unitless parameter. So let me go back to my multi-values here. One's going to basically turn it on, and zero's going to kind of turn it off or suppress it. One other key thing is here is I do want to make it a key parameter. So that's going to be picked up in my library asset as I go through and build that library asset. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. Now what I also need to do is I need to link the suppression with that parameter. So I'll go to my properties for that feature, my revolution one. If, go find my clearance zone parameter, and it's one, it's going to be basically um, left on. If I turn it to zero, it's going to be turned off. And I'm going to make sure I do that for both of them. Okay. So I'll go ahead and save this file. Now what I want to do is I want to create an asset out of this. So I go to my asset builder. I'm just going to create um, what key parameters I want. I want my clearance zone there and maybe this other key parameter I have. And I'm going to go ahead and select that landing surface, which is fine. And just quick and easy, I'm going to go ahead and publish this asset. And doing that, I can go through and I can uh, put a folder in my library assets. Maybe I'm going to put all my CNC machines in my CNC folder. And for your sake, I'm not going to publish any 2D for this for now. And I'm going to go ahead and publish this asset. So as that's building up, we're going to be able to go through now and see how we can use that parameter when bringing in that asset. So that was taken care of. So in my, my assets here, I have basically a factory file open. And I'm going to go through now, and I'm going to go ahead and just add that asset I just published. So I'll go to my user assets here. My, I should have a CNC machine folder in here. I'll drag my new library asset out into my factory floor plan. And go ahead and take a look at my CNC machine. I'm just going to minimize my asset folder here. I'm going to turn on my properties so I can take a look at those factory properties. Now when I select the CNC machine, we'll see we'll have those custom parameters here. I could turn that to zero and basically I can turn on and off once this updates. Oh, always remember in here after you select your parameter, actually hit enter. And we can see now that my doors have suppressed. So again, a quick way of working with our assets and be able to turn on and off um, maybe some clearance zones and check for interferences real quick, real easy. Anyways, thanks for joining me today. We'll see you next week.